morning. So this morning we're in for a treat, taking dad to go get some teeth pulled, so. So I'll be interesting when he, you know, is high as a kite. I just got the phone call that dad's ready to come out, so. Hopefully he's funny while he's loopy. Hopefully he doesn't say anything too embarrassing. This might or might not be YouTube worthy. It might not be YouTube worthy. I mean, you guys don't know it, but dad has a little bit of a potty mouth. Let's just say we can have a lot of good outtakes. So you hungry? What do you think? I think I might stop and get me a steak on the way home. <laughs> Let's see if Caleb will bring you some soup up. That's why there. So which teeth they cut out? Your molars? This on this side are one chipped, two of them broke. And the one right behind it that says that's all I got when I saw it. Now you're gonna have to cut your steak to fit the exit. Yeah, squishy. Hey buddy. So this morning it's a little bit frozen. It's cold and it's wet, but it's frozen. So we're gonna hop in the fertilizer spreader. We have some fertilizer on the uh, dump truck still. I'll get that applied, get this truck emptied, and the goal today, dad's down and out. He's not gonna be uh, helping us any. And then I'm actually having a minor procedure tomorrow, so I'm gonna be down and out. But I wanna get the grain cart out of here. We might leave the combines here for now because we're probably gonna wash stuff here, I think. Maybe not, that's, that's subject to change. But both of the heads are still here, so we might need to pick those up and whatnot. But I do want to get this grain cart out of here. Probably take the dump truck back over home and fuel it up. And we're going to start hauling fertilizer tomorrow. We have 21 loads of fertilizer we have to get hauled this month. So I think BJ and Brad are going to start hauling tomorrow. At least I hope. Uh, Brad will probably haul. BJ will probably go with him. Uh, first load just because neither one of them have ever been there. Uh, we'll get the dividers in here. Hopefully do that today. I'd like to get the dividers in here. We're going to be storing potash and Mez 10. So that's our dry fertilizers we use. I'm trying to think how much that'll take up of this building. Pretty good bit. Pretty good bit. First thing we're going to do though is get everything warming up because it's, it's 20 degrees. It's cold. I'm cold. The dump truck airing up. enough juice to start for some reason I don't know I swear it seems like you cannot get good batteries anywhere to save your life this machine is I think it's a 2018 or 2019 like I said this has been their demo unit for a long time I don't know if these batteries have just got to the end of their lifespan I swear it, batteries just don't last very long anymore just had to put batteries in Kayla Suburban and they were only two years old on a phone call to see if there's anything I can reset, I have pulled the old turn the disconnect on and off a few times. I am going to turn it off, probably go over to the other farm, check some things, and then we'll try it again. I don't know if it needs to reset for a while, but I, I, I don't know. I'm kind, of at a, kind of at a loss on that one. Might just need some new batteries. Now, a lot of people asked when the battery was dead the last time why we didn't just you know charge the batteries individually we can do that but there's prongs right here for a 24 volt charger be way simpler because the battery are in behind this plate kind of kind of difficult to get to not undoable but um we need to just go ahead and get us a 24 volt charger we've got a lot of 24 volt equipment all of our construction equipment and our, our sprayer is also 24 volts but the main issue here in this building we don't have electric now when we build the new shop Electric might be getting added to this building or at least a couple outlets, but right now we don't have anything But worst case scenario we dump this fertilizer in the floor here Get rid of the grain cart and put our dividers right up this line And have fertilizer on each side, but for now like I said We're gonna go over the other grain bins because I believe the crew is starting construction on that hoop barn today I think they put some poles in the ground yesterday we are, we're, we are going to wood bottom on it instead of bl blocks, so we're going to check that out. Plus, I got some stuff to give to George. 
George has made the statement that if I give him a Peterbilt, he'll come out of retirement. Well, I got him a Peterbilt t-shirt. So, let's see, if, let's see how that goes. Let's see what he thinks. Man, George got a kick out of that. Looks like the builders are over here, so we'll go check that out real fast. So today they are just building the sides, the barn itself, the actual uh, canvas and the hoops and everything, those won't get here till Tuesday. Yep, so we should have a hoop barn here next week over there. As you can see, that one's quite a bit smaller. It is 40 by 60, but it is three-sided. Enclosed on three sides instead of two. Should work a little bit more efficiently that way. Uh, keep the fertilizer a little drier. And this one's gonna be pretty much just fertilizer going out. We'll still probably put lime in the other one and probably a little bit of fertilizer, but that one will hold most of the fertilizer, I do believe. Oh, them Amish boys remind me it's lunchtime and harvest is over and Kayla's a heck of a lot prettier than eating lunch with Dad and BJ, so I'm gonna go eat lunch with her. So BJ brought the grain cart over to the shed over here, getting it out of the hoop barn. We'll pick him up. Uh, I think we're gonna move the combine over. And we'll start stack, stacking some blocks. I'll take the gleaner out of here. We are going to leave the cloth here just because the corn head is still here for it. And we need to blow it off so not on a trailer. So we'll leave it here for now. We're going to take this one put it in the put it in the barn. Eventually it is going to come back over here probably and get washed. But it's going to be cold for a little while. So we'll wait. Wait till it's warm. Let our glow plugs heat up. That's what that symbol is. Basically, if I'm not mistaken, it's just heating up the air right beside the intake. Helps it start when it's cold. It definitely makes a difference. But now we get to say, power ladder. Guess the combine rides over. So I completely forgot this truck was still loaded from beat with beans, so. I'm gonna run in it, run it in real fast. And while I'm doing that, BJ's gonna start cleaning out the hoop bar. Come on. There we go. So that one's all saluted. We're gonna go ahead and get it in there before they close. Take the old bomb in. Oddly enough, BJ said that floater started. So maybe he's just got the magic touch. I guess he'll have to spread all the wheat fields. <laughs> Best part about harvest being over, no one's in here. Ah, glad that's over with. So we're gonna stack those blocks. BJ should have got the, the barn pretty well cleaned out. Ooh, we better get the tarps on these trucks. If they were just gonna stay here for a while, I'd leave them closed, but these are the two we use all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and close them. Hopefully we can get that stain off the side of that one. That is from where we left it parked in the drive-thru and it just uh, like a slow drip out of the downspout and it ran down the side. So that's like corn dust that's just gross. Man, that right there is service. I called Oxbow and said, hey, I think there's something wrong with this battery or the wiring in it. About two and a half hours later, here they are. Like I said, BJ did get it to start, so. I think that disconnect, the battery disconnect, just has something going on with it where it's like kicking in and out maybe, maybe. So this year we're gonna put a set of blocks up against this wall just because we were having moisture issues with, for whatever reason, moisture seeping through this wall. And the, the fertilizer is really not good on that wall. We never sealed these. We should have sealed it. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Should help a little bit. Let's see if the skid steer will start. Might use it to try to push some block with it. I don't know if it'll push them or not. Huh. 
harvest is over and the victory bottles right there now it is a Thursday but it's, it's Thursday. thirsty Thursday I mean why not have some moonshine in a coffee cup what kind of bottle box like this looks cool but like if I was really wanting to get my drink on this might be a problem I'd break the dang on bottle Last time well, I did that, yeah, I lost a yeah, tender. Easy. Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah, easy. It says it's moonshine distilled with the cow corn, so we'll see. Or sour mash. I oh, know sour mash moonshine. There we go. If it's as good as the corn is, we might be spending the night here. I ain't drinking that much of it. If it's as good as the corn is, we wouldn't be able to afford it. <laughs> Point. I was thinking of fire hazard. <laughs> So you're saying I should just throw it over there? Yeah, right, right into the heater. Two stick sour mash moonshine, moonshine. Hall Brothers, eh? Spirit distilled from grain. It's only forty percent. And with natural flavor from two oak staves in each bottle. Grown, harvested, fermented, distilled, and bottled in the United States of America. Bottled by Hall Brothers Distillery, Dayton, Ohio. Huh? I didn't realize it was from Dayton. It's 80, only eighty proof. It's only eighty proof. You can't even light that on fire. I've watched enough Dukes of Hazard to know that won't run a car. I don't have to watch Dukes of Hazard anymore. Oh, I forgot. I for what's, what's this? So you want you want a, you want a butter knife? No. It smells all right. Bill, harvest is over. We're cracking the victory bottle. So. Oh wait, fancy, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gonna get down here, buddy? We'll save you some. Be a good time to sell you, sell us some seed. We hold whole cup. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fill her up. Save the neck for me, Clark. Uh, yeah, not much. It's not moonshine. It's not even not even white. It smells like whiskey. I think it's just whiskey. Yeah, one maybe bigger shot than the other. Look about even. Yeah, good enough. Bottoms up. Cheers. Got a different taste. I've had worse. If I've had worse, I've had better. Oh. Whew. A few more though, and you won't care. Yep. That, yeah. <laughs> Lemony fresh. <sighs> Put lead in your pencil. We'll, we'll yeah. readdress that we'll after next harvest. Moving, bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll we'll revisit that next harvest. Squishy! Horse time for your shot! Well guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.